Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Ion Hako. My name is Nicole. Hi, everyone. My name is Kenta. And today we will be desoldering with Hako. That's right. So, in most instances, mm -hmm. when you solder, at some point, you might have to desolder. Yeah, more often than not, um, solder, desoldering comes after soldering. <laughs> um, and there are ways to, uh, several different ways to desolder, right? Right. Uh, there's manual ways and there's ways to, that you can uh, use these uh, stations and tools. Um, and just to show everyone, um, we can show them we'll show different methods of uh, manual desoldering methods. Okay. That so you have over there. So, so one way is, one way is to wick. use the solder wick that Nicole has there. And when you use a solder wick, uh, you have to have a soldering iron to melt the solder with one hand and wick away the solder with the other hand, Take just like that. The other manual way to desolder is to use just like this plunger type. Okay. Again, it's manual. You have to hold the uh, plunger in one hand to depress the plunger. Yep. With the other hand, yeah. melt the solder, and once the solder is melted, then you depress the button and it um, takes the solder away. So those are two manual ways of desoldering. Right. But today, we will be focused on a more professional way to desolder. Right. And in front of Kenta, he has the FR410. Yes. And in front of me, I have the FR301. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we don't have all of our desoldering stations or products in front of us, mm -hmm. so you can always go to HakoUSA.com and click under the desoldering tab and you can see all of it available products we have there. That's right. I think we should start with the workbench station that you have in front of you, Kenta. Let's, Let's start, start with, with the, the FR410. FR410. Yep. We'll put up a slide so you can see the station and some bullet points as we start to go over and Kenta turns on the station. I'll turn on the station. And as the station is uh, powering up and the heater is warming up, I'll just go over briefly some of the main specs of the station. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the FR410. It's a 140 watt desoldering station. The temperature settings is capable from 330 degrees C to 450 degrees C. And it comes equipped with our standard features like our auto sleep feature, which uh, we recommend people to use to save tip life. Mm -hmm. And it also has the standard features like the auto shutoff feature where the power to the heater is uh, shut down after a selected amount of time. And we put that in as a safety feature. Right as well. Safety um, is key. Safety is key. And there's also other features like the preset feature where you can preset up to three different preset uh, settings and with the push of a button, single push of a button, you can recall that temperature setting okay. as well. But, so and you heard you that hear beep. So if you hear the beep, yep, yep that, that means, means <laughs> <laughs> jinx. <laughs> I'm hanging around you too much, Kenta. That means it's reached its temperature. Um, but what I want to get go over today is uh, what we want to go over today is some of the unique features of this FR410. Um, there are three points that I want to go over today. One is the visual, what we call visual indicators. How many visual indicators does the FR410 have? There's three. One is the clear cartridge on the handpiece. One, yeah. the other one is the uh, filter cover on the station, and the third one is the clogging indicator that you see here. So with desoldering tools, um, maintenance, maintenance is key. You have to perform, uh, do the right maintenance to keep the machine working at its optimum level. Yep, as with anything else. Yeah. You have a car, you have to perform maintenance on your car. Yeah, the so more you the drive, the more often you, you do oil changes right. or brake fluid changes. Right. Uh, same, same situation. Right. It's a tool, so. So with the FR410, mm -hmm. you get the toolkit also which nice tool kit. helps you perform the maintenance that you need to right right so i'll show you the toolkit here if i can open it <laughs> i can i, can. I got it <laughs> it's friday people it's friday it's a friday before holiday. so that's the toolkit that comes with the station it comes with a set of uh, cleaning drills a cleaning pin some extra replacement filters and a nozzle wrench. That nozzle wrench is used to use for the quick exchange of nozzles, which I'll be showing you in a minute here. Okay. 
Uh, but if we can go back to the face of the FR410, the display, you can see that it has a nice large display for to read for uh, for the operators to view the temperature settings easily. <laughs> <laughs> and if you press on the button, I, you see there's three presets that I have input in here, 650, 740, and 840F. And with the single push <laughs> of a button, like I go to preset three and hit enter, oh, whoops, <laughs> and hit enter, then it's going to ramp up to the set temperature. I go back, and if you want to change it back to the 740, then I do this and hit enter, recalls the 740, and I'm back at the 740 setting. That's an example of the preset feature. <laughs> so, if you look on the display once again, <laughs> you see that it says clogging indicator. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press pull on the trigger, and you see how the indicator bar shoots across the screen. When it's clogged, the indicator bar will shoot all the way across, and you'll see CHK, that means check, check your unit because it's, the unit is clogged, the nozzle is clogged, it's not performing at its optimum level. So that's when you know uh, you need to perform the maintenance on the tool. So why don't you perform the maintenance on the tool? Absolutely. <laughs> so if you could go to camera seven. So here I have the desoldering tool. And when you're performing the maintenance, back. make sure that you guys have the, the unit on. Why and do you need to have the unit on? Because you want the nozzle and the heater core to be heated up where the solder is melted. Okay. Or, or else you won't be able to clean out the, uh, the solder that's inside. Okay. So I'm taking a cleaning drill here, first of all. Okay. And I'm going to insert it into the nozzle, like so. And empty out the uh, opening. Like that. Okay. Next, I'll take a cleaning pin. This is a cleaning pin. Okay. And I clear out the rest of the inside of the nozzle. And once you do that, you take the nozzle wrench and watch how easy this is to exchange the nozzle. And you can exchange it while the unit is hot. It's a single, simple turn, and then it turns off. And that's the heater core. Excuse me for a minute while I get the nozzle. Put it back in. And this is the heater core. And once you have the heater core exposed, then you take the cleaning pin and clear out the heater core. Ugh, all that stuff coming out. And this part is the, the other unique point to the FR410. We made improvements to the heater core so that the molten solder this doesn't end up solidifying towards the back end of the heater. And then once you're done? Once you're done, you just replace the nozzle, single turn, and the nozzle's already back in place. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. Oh, if we could go back to camera seven, I forgot to mention one thing. Okay. This is the clear cartridge of the solder collection chamber. Uh, once it gets, turns all black, you want to empty out the solder. So you release, and I'll show you what it looks like inside. You see all that disgusting. solder that's being accumulated inside. Once you see that, it's time to empty out the solder, clean out the cartridge, and possibly replace the filter that's on the back. And once all that is cleared out, the cleaned out cartridge should look something like this, with no solder left inside, just like that. Nice and shiny and new. Nice and new. And place it back in. And now if you go back to the front of the station, mm -hmm. and I press on the trigger, you see how the indicator bar shoots only across to about there. That means it's working properly, there's no clogging going on. Okay. Careful. Um, and now that I've uh, did the maintenance, I'll just give a quick demo of how to desolder. So I have a few joints that I prepped, so I'm going to take this. Melt it. So now that we went over the FR410, which is our workbench station, on my side oh, I one have... Oh, one more thing. One yes. more thing. With the FR410, I forgot to mention uh, the nozzles. Oh, yes. 
The nozzle series that we that that's uh, used on the FR410, they're mm -hmm. called N61 nozzles. We're going to put up a slide right now that's going to show the nozzle selection. Good call, Kenta. There's uh, 17 different shapes available for the nozzle uh, for the N61 series nozzles, and the smallest uh, pin size is 0.6 up to 2.3 millimeters in size. And one other thing I want to mention before we move on to the portable option yeah. is with the FR410, you have the gun type, but then you also oh, okay. have yes, yes, um, yes. the pin type, correct? Good call, good call. So this is the gun type, like Nicole said, right. but there's also a pencil type handpiece. Pencil type. That we also carry as a lineup for the different handpieces. Yep. And this also has the quick change mechanism incorporated into the handpiece as well. Okay. That. Did we cover everything, Kenta? I believe so. So the last thing that you covered that um, I want to make sure we transition into is mm -hmm. the nozzle types for the FR410, the N61. N61. Right. Yeah. They're also compatible with this FR301 yes, they that are. I have, which is our portable desoldering tool. Yes. It has a, a direct plug-in. To the wall and I'm going to just show you uh, you have your on and off switch here on the bottom is where you have your dial to control your temperature settings so it might look a little faint in the camera on your end I don't know if you can see it but there are four different uh, settings for your temperature range so you can set it from 350 up to 500 C 500. So one is 350 and four is 500? One is 350 and four is 500. Yes, that's correct. Nice. And then you also have the clear cartridge that right. shows when you have your solder buildup so you know when you take it out and you have to dump it right. and clean it. Right. And then what am I missing? It also has a quick change mechanism. Yes, it also has the quick right. change mechanism. Mm -hmm. And I did have the 301 set in this uh, quick nozzle quick changer yes the C5046 so just wanted to show you that that is an accessory option as well yep, it's a nozzle quick changer if a user is using uh, multiple nozzle different nozzle shapes by using the C5046 you can have up to three different nozzle shapes mm -hmm. set in there for yep. quick and easy uh, nozzle replacement yep. And if I can do it, you, you can, can do, do it. it. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yep. So that is the 301. 301 um, is 140 watt yeah. power. And the temperature settings on that is uh, from 350 to 500. So we put up a slide to just show the bullet points and the station itself or the hand piece itself. Good. Good. Uh, Good. What else, Kinta? So there's uh, one other station that we don't have here on the, on the table with us, but I want to briefly go over. It is the FR400. Yeah. Before you start talking about the FR400, yeah. one other thing I wanted to mention was the FR301 comes with its own case. So this oh, is okay. a portable desoldering tool. It comes with a case, and inside the case you yeah. also have... The cleaning um, drills. Your cleaning drills. Clean as, pin. Yep. So I wanted to make sure our viewers know that this does come with a case. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the 400. Let's do that. So the FR400, um, appearance-wise, it looks um, the same as the FR410, just a little bit larger in size because it is a 300-watt uh, station. It's, it's uh, twice the amount of power as the FR410, which is 140 watt. FR400 is a 300 watt station, and the temperature settings you can set it from 350 C to up to 500 C. Yeah. And the nozzle selection, um, they're called N60 series nozzles. And we'll put up a slide so you can see the nozzle selections as well for this ultra heavy duty station. The handpiece, the heater is larger, the handpiece is a little bit larger, and the nozzles as well is a little bit larger in size. And the FR400, they're mostly used in larger components like uh, solar panel parts or uh, large, larger transformers. Okay. So that, that's FR400 for you. And it still has the, you know, all the, all the uh, features like the presets. Preset, auto, auto shut off. Auto shut off, okay. all that good stuff. You can go to HakoUSA.com and you can look under our desoldering section that has all of our desoldering products and options available. Absolutely. Yep, it's Friday. 
Yes, it is Friday. Almost <laughs> Thanksgiving. Are you thankful it's Friday, Kinta? I'm very <laughs> thankful it's Friday. We're thankful for our viewers. Thank we appreciate every month you tune in to see what we're going to cover, what we're going to talk about. If you have any suggestions, mm -hmm. anything you want to see us cover, please make sure you reach out to us and let us know. We're always happy to get your feedback. Yep. I guess that does it for us. Yeah. For Friday. So. Before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. And until next time, make sure you remember, keep, keep your, your eye on Hako.